Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that there are a lot of new people that have just come to join us. I think over a thousand of you are new and haven't seen a newly posted or newly filmed video from me since I went on holiday. So welcome. It's nice to meet you. I can't wait to share some new videos with you. I have just returned from a fantastic trip to LA. April has just come and gone and April has definitely been my favorite month of the year. It is autumn in April and it's my favorite season. It is my birthday in April. I turned 25 this month and I had a really fun Mexican themed sort of fiesta party to celebrate with some of my friends and it was also the first time that I got to travel to the US. I spent the, basically the last two weeks of April in LA and I had an awesome time, did a ton of shopping and I'm going to have a whole bunch of hauls to share with you guys coming up very very soon. I hope you guys also had a fantastic Easter if you celebrated. But today's video is going to be my April favourites, my April beauty favourites. I admit I don't have a bunch of new products to share with you guys purely because I didn't buy a lot coming into like the start of April because I knew my trip was only a couple of weeks away and then while I was traveling I didn't use a lot of makeup you tend to just use the same makeup over and over again but let me tell you May favorites well they are gonna be some exciting exciting times but let's just jump into the few things that I do have to share with you guys the first is a couple of new products I picked these up from iHerb. They're from the range or from the brand Avalon Organics and it's their vitamin C renewal range. The first one that I have here is their renewal cream. This one smells really, really strongly like citrus and oranges. It's really, really refreshing. I've been using this as a night cream. It has no parabens, harsh preservatives, synthetic colors, or fragrances. Basically, it's just very, very hydrating on your skin. I um, depotted a fair bit of this and took it away with me, and I found that it was really, really useful because my skin did break out. It freaked out a little bit about traveling, but it was also really dry because I was on a long haul flight. It was a direct flight. I think my flight there was about 12 hours and my flight back was 14 hours. And that's a long time to spend on a plane and in that sort of air conditioned air. It's, it, it's very drying on your skin. To go with that, I've also been using the refreshing cleanser gel from the same range. It says it contains pure botanical cleansers that lather away toxins and impurities for fresh, bright skin. Plant derived with antioxidant rich vitamin C lemon bioflavonoids and white tea soothe oxidative stress and help fight the visible signs of photo aging so it was just a really nice cleanser helped remove my makeup I didn't find that it necessarily caused any flare-ups my skin didn't have any major issues with it and I just I've, I've been enjoying that I also love the packaging too the last skincare favorite I have is another moisturizer this one however is from Clinique I got a small size of this moisture surge intense skin fortifying hydrator gel cream uh, this was from my sister it was part of like a little clinic gift set that she gave me for my birthday and I just found that especially after I came back from my trip in those last few days and also before I went on my trip because I somehow forgot to take this with me but in the couple of in the week beforehand and the few days after of April I used this and I just found that it glides on the skin so well. It melts in but it really hydrates. I had some really bad dryness around my mouth that I was just not sort of able to shake and this seems to have all but fixed it. Okay so like I said a lot of makeup was reused. One thing that was definitely a travel essential if I did wear any eyeshadow it came from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I was hesitant to include this again because obviously it's a repeat but I just, I can't say enough good things about this palette. If I had to recommend any of the Urban Decay palettes, the Naked Basics just comes out again and again as just being the most useful in that it is easy to travel with, it has a decent sized mirror, you can get really nice eyeshadow looks with this, you can get simple eyeshadow looks if you really want to go all out and get a really dark smoky look, you've got that matte black there. The other eye product that I wanted to mention, another kind of lifesaver for me, especially when I was going with like the minimal makeup look, because I mean, when you are jet lagged and you're getting up at the crack of dawn to do some tour or to go to Disneyland or Universal Studios or some shopping thing, you're half asleep and honestly... I'm lucky I didn't poke my eye out half the time when I was applying my makeup. So the Benefit Give Me Brow, I have this in medium deep. Love this. And it's just a really easy, no mess, no fuss kind of way to 
put a little bit of product on your eyebrows. The other product that I used a lot this month I was hesitant to talk about because it is a limited edition product and it's from an older MAC collection and I don't think that you can necessarily get it anymore but I basically wore this on my cheeks every day for the, in the month of April pretty much at least for a full two weeks of April so this is the mineralized skin finish in Rio now the reason why I love this product is that pink and brown the fact that you can just put it on your cheeks and have that bronze look but also that sort of blush look it's that kind of this hybrid kind of product that works really well when you're going for that one step application rather than having to apply bronzer blush contour highlight I can get that all from this so since this isn't available, something similar might be this Prestige Skin Loving Minerals uh, Fresh Glow Baked Mineral Blush. And this is in the shade Terra Rosa. So you can see it kind of has a similar sort of mottled pink and bronze kind of thing going on there. I mean, when I swatch them, they do look quite similar. This is the Rio Mineralized Skin Finish and this is the Terra Rosa Blush. The blush is probably a little bit more... Um, got a little bit more of a sheen to it but overall you, this is available so if you do want something similar maybe check out this one. While we are on the topic of these mineralized skin finishes another favorite from this month is one that I picked up from a recent collection this is the uh, mineralized skin finish in the shade perfect topping again limited edition but hopefully it's still out in certain counters this is just a really nice highlight shade. When you kind of swirl it all together, it gives you this really sort of soft, it's not quite yellow, it's not quite pink, it's slightly sort of skin toned, a little bit peach highlight shade. One that you can, if you want to dust it lightly, maybe even use it sort of in the center of your face, um, or you could just use it on the tops of your cheekbones as a highlight. I don't have any highlight on, so I might just pop a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones, but really really pretty I do love the mineralized skin finishes overall they just have a really nice soft finish very very thin blend really easy to blend just love these products and very um, multi-purpose as well I mean when I was purchasing it the the lady at the matte counter talked about using it on your eyes you could use it as an inner corner highlight brow highlight all over the face even if you want to go for a really glowy kind of setting powder if you were really really light with it before we go into lips I did want to mention another eye product that I forgot this is probably the only mascara that I used this month it is the L'Oreal false lashed wings mascara one reason was because I did take it with me and it was the one mascara that I took I did mention in last month's favorite so again I feel kind of bad to re-mention it but it is what I used and it did give me really, really nice lashes. I was basically just going for mascara on my eyes. I didn't wear a lot of eyeshadow for my entire trip. And this was what I wore, both top and bottom lashes. A couple of products that I probably would have mentioned last month, but I forgot. The Revlon New Color Burst Matte Balms. I am so incredibly impressed with these. I want to go out and buy a whole bunch more. I'm kind of sad that I didn't buy some while I was in the U.S., I don't know what happened, I just kind of forgot, and I think they do have different colours to us, so that was a bummer on my behalf, but two that I do have, I have the shade 250, which is standout, this is a really, really pretty blue-based red shade, love it, because while they have a matte finish, they go on so, so creamy, they're really nice and comfortable to apply, and nice and comfortable to wear, so still have that minty finish, this colour will definitely be a staple on my lips for the autumn and winter months. And the other shade that I picked up was number 225 Sultry. Again, a really, really gorgeous shade. This one is kind of that plum pink, slightly purpled shade. Love, love, love these. I've been turning a lot of my friends onto these, especially people who like the look of lipstick but find a lot of lipsticks may feel a little bit too heavy or matte lipsticks they find are too drying. I would highly recommend these products if that if you fall into that category. The second to last lip product that I have here was a recommendation from Aish here on YouTube. She is Miss Goddess in Training and I can't remember where but she tagged me maybe on Twitter or Facebook or on Instagram and basically said I had to buy this product that it was a, a Rachel kind of lip color and I hope that it was this one. I'm pretty sure it was. It is the uh, Chanel. This is their um, Glossomers in number 176 which I think is called black cherry or dark cherry or something to that extent I'm wearing it on my lips today although it's probably worn off a bit it can actually be quite a bit darker let's demo it for you guys but as you can see you can sheer it out as well and oh my goodness 
it is 100% a Rachel lip color. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. It feels really, really creamy. A very light, if sort of not even really visible or not visible. I don't know what it is, scentable, smellable. I don't know, <laughs> but it's it's not a very strong scent if there is anyone there. They don't taste bad. They don't really taste good. They don't really taste like anything, to be perfectly honest. But I just love them. Very pretty luxury packaging. Picked it up in the US. This is the one product I'm including because I picked it up and started it using it straight away. So I did definitely use it in the month of April, and therefore it counts. And then last but not least, I wanted to mention a chapstick. This is the apple scented or apple flavored chapstick. I picked it up in a pack that looked like this. It's the chapstick collection number one for lips that talk for days. I got this in Priceline and it had a green apple, which was this one, a strawberry and a classic chapstick lip balm. This just came in so much handy. I just had it with me constantly while I was away and this is pretty much the only lip balm I used. It does have SPF 15 in it, which is great because I spent a lot of time out walking around in the sun. I never got sunburnt lips or chapped lips. And then I actually used the tin. I took it with me and in it I put in some bobby pins and some hair ties and some band-aids. So that was always with me and it meant that if I got a blister or if the wind was driving me crazy and I need to put my hair up or something like that, I had this little tin there with me and I could also, I did have my lip balm popped in there as well. Handy little kit to have in your purse, so I really, really like that. And then the final favourite for this month, again, is Travel Focus. Not so much, or I guess, a makeup product, but it's these little toothbrush and toothpaste sets from Colgate. I found these in Priceline, but not in every Priceline. I found these in the Priceline in the city, but then my local Priceline didn't seem to have these or I didn't see them. Some planes, I think, do give out similar things, but it's just a nice little tube of toothpaste and then you've got that a toothbrush there that it can be kept in your bag. I mean, you can use it multiple times. The toothpaste, is enough toothpaste in there for about two or three brushes. Wanted to feel clean again lifesaver so I really really enjoyed having that with me and that is it that is all my beauty favorites for the month of April I hope you guys have enjoyed this I will have a Rachel's obsessions or a random favorites video that will come up after this one so I will definitely link to that in the description box below once that is up so you guys can see my book favorites and music and tech and app and movie and all that kind of stuff favorites I also have some fashion favorites which I'll include in there and other than that I hope you guys are all doing really well like I said if you're new to my channel welcome I do usually post videos more regularly so you'll start to see regular posts coming up very very soon and if you're not subscribed already please do because that way you won't miss out on any of the awesome USA hauls that I have for you guys and other than that I will see you guys all very very soon Is bye